is the big time, Australia's volunteer coast guard, battling through breakers with crews training at the oars. It's a job for tough men, and they're certainly tough. Surf boats are built to a unique design. They're light but steady, and they need all their strength as they mount deep-sided waves and thump on their keels in the following trough. Hang on there! wave is dangerous. Abandon ship. Bet they're glad there are no women and children to go first. Deserting may not look heroic, but it's common sense. The flying heavy boat itself could crush any one of the crew, and lifesavers with broken limbs don't make many rescues. In a surf boat race, there's no prize but the satisfaction of being first home. It's training for rescue work. The boats, strongly built as they are, have been smashed to matchwood by dumpers like these. Giant waves that break sharply, tumbling down in angry foam. A rudder would be useless in rough water, so sweep oarsmen keep the craft on their course. But if the waves take control, this can happen. This looks like disaster. Take the weight off and keep a nose high. Whoa, that was close. It's thrilling, but it's no pleasure cruise. It takes strength and judgment to drive a boat through the surf, and skillful timing to ensure no wave breaks on top of the boat, swamping it. Breakers snatch the boat from the crew's control. Hang on, or go! But we can't wait to strike those, so start swimming, brother! The time. But in spite of sins and near disaster, some would manage to through, hurtling towards the beach to be first home. It's more than a it's a pile of strength, the test of training and endurance. Operation for a day, the prize is that of same life. So they head for the beach together, fighting it out in a finish. <laughs>